Welcome day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review and today you have the Rhino and we're looking at some beers. You can see on that shelf behind me there's a whole bunch of different beers to review. Um, let's do this. That's, that's all the new new brews that have been uh, that have fallen in my there's actually a few more in the fridge uh, a few more bottles. Uh, I should try and get them all out later but let's start shall we? Today we're starting with a beer from the advent calendar that I bought on clearance. Uh, this is Tropic Haze IPA by Silver City Brewing Company. It's 6.4% alcohol by volume. So from what I noticed looking at these cans, because I decided to pull them all out because it was so much work to pop them open and all that. They all seem to be American breweries. Yeah, this one's in Washington. So Silver City's brewed in Washington. Um, and it's an IPA. And again, the thing with IPAs, and I hate when IPAs are put in these, in these uh, boxes, in these advent calendars, because I mean, they'll tell you the truth, right? They're like, oh, we get the brewery to, to brew the batch, you know, July, August, September. We get the beers, you know, late September, beginning of October, we package them, we ship them. So you're looking at beers that even by the time you get to them are a couple months old, which doesn't always matter, but if you're not being cared for properly and you don't know how they've been transported, all that. So it's it's one of those things where it shouldn't matter all that much, but it hurts a little bit when it's when it's IPAs and stuff going in there because you know what, you might as well you might as well make it with a beer that Sorry, I'm just looking at something on my desk here. You might as well make it with beers that are meant to last. Do a stout and porter and, well, not really sours, but like lagers and stuff like that. Just stuff that's meant to last. Okay, so that is hazy crazy. Lots of bright white head, lots of snap crack pop sent out of the can. Lots of grapefruit, lots of orange, a little bit of pineapple. Grapefruit, orange, pineapple, papaya, and a little bit of resininess. Slanche, let's get on this. Excuse me. So Silver City's Tropic Haze is hazy and it is tropical. I mean, I get pineapple, I get papaya, I get some passion fruit. I get a little bit of bitterness that could be considered pith or it could be considered just hop resin, I mean. But it's it's flavored like it's a citrus, so I go with pith. And this is the highest ABV beer I've had since since arriving in Saskatchewan at 6.4. And wouldn't be able to tell you that it's 6.4. Now, is that because I wouldn't be able to tell you normally, or is that because I'm just so so unexperienced now? You know, I'm I'm coming back in, and yes, I'm wearing my Rick and Morty shirt. Okay, I bought my son the exact same one, so we had father son ones. That's just the way it is. It's a good beer. It really is. It's not... And it's an aged beer, too. Like, it's... It's the middle of February now. It's Well, it's almost the end of February. It's February, like, 20th now. There is nothing wrong with that. I have nothing to complain about. That is a solid, easy-drinking beer can't give it an 8 or a 9 or a 10 or anything like that, but I can't give it a 5 or a 6. So it's going to be in that 7 range. 
It's a solid, easy drinking beer. Thank you guys. Silver City. Tropic Haze. Bye-bye.